Ali is a baby alligator, or hatchling. Now, alligators get around by walking, running, or swimming. Now, this one's only small, so he can't run very fast. But when he gets bigger, he'll get faster. And he will get bigger. Because did you know, alligators never stop growing. When they're in the water, they don't just use their legs to swim. They use these fantastic tails as well, a bit like a fish. And in the water, they can hold their breath for four hours, which is really handy when they're waiting for their food. Getting around's a big challenge for little animals. First stop, Tanzania in Africa. Some animals have taken moving around to a truly epic scale. These are wildebeest. But you can also call them Gnu. One animal, two names. I know, confusing, isn't it? They live together in huge groups called herds. Sometimes up to a million animals. And it takes an awful lot of grub to feed all those mouths. So the wildebeest are always on the move, looking for fresh grass to munch. But how do you keep up with the herd if you've never even stood up before? This little wildebeest calf has only just been born, but already its mum is getting ready to move on. It'll have to learn to walk very quickly if it doesn't want to get left behind. Luckily, baby wildebeest know how to stand up all on their own. For a while, at least. That's it. Come on, keep trying. It takes a human baby almost a year to stand up. But these clever calves can do it in just three wobbly minutes, which makes them one of the quickest animals to get up on their feet anywhere in the world. And once they're up, there's no stopping them. Wildebeest can run as fast as a car, up to 50 kilometers per hour. And running that fast is a lot of fun. <laughs> now the calf can join its mum on the search for new grasslands and be part of one of the largest groups of animals on the planet. Coming through, coming through. I just hope the wildebeest at the front knows where he's going. 